Band in a Box has some easy tools for quickly copying bars. A quick way is to use quick copy. This is done by typing K followed by a number. The number tells Band in a Box how many bars you want to copy. For example, typing K4 will copy the last four bars. And if you omit the number, Band in a Box will default to eight bars. So I can duplicate this whole first section by just typing K, then hitting Enter. Another quick way to copy is by using the mouse. Just highlight the range of bars, then click and drag the first bar number to the desired location. And if you want more options, hold the control key while dragging. This gives you a menu with lots of options. Note that the same menu is accessed from the edit menu. But when using the mouse to drag the bars instead, the first three fields get automatically filled out and you don't need to think about the numbers. Band in a Box knows that I want to copy four bars, starting from bar one, because those bars are highlighted. And copy two bar five, because that's where I released the mouse button. These checkboxes on the right tell Band in a Box what you want to copy. In most cases, you will probably just want to copy the chords, but these can be useful in some situations. For example, a song repeats the melody, but the lyrics will be different in each verse. For practicing purposes, these two fields can be useful. Repeat copy a number of times, or transpose each time. For example, it would be a good idea to practice this little 2-5-1 progression in all 12 keys. Since I have already got the key of C, then I just need 11 more copies. Transpose five semitones for each copy will progress through the circle of fourths and make each key change a smooth transition. There won't be enough room for all the new bars, so I will check Insert Bars at Destination. Just click OK, and now there are 12 keys of this 2-5-1 progression for practicing.